So in this video, we're gonna show you how to do an adjustment called sub trims. Sub trims are very important when maybe you have to make an adjustment that's outside the standard trim rate of your airplane and you can't adjust the linkage itself to make it neutral. Oftentimes you're gonna see sub trims being used on models that have internal servos and don't have linkage stoppers. Now in our little analog airplane here, we see that we have the optimum setup. In other words, we have our servos all perpendicular to each other. That gives us even throw forward and backward. We have little linkage stoppers that are going into our control horns. This gives us adjustment and we can ultimately make those adjustments perfectly neutral without having to do anything to the transmitter. But let's imagine a case where we don't have linkage stoppers or we can't access these components. Sub trim is a really good tool to be able to use where we don't have to take away the resolution or the ability to adjust in flight with our trim tabs. We can actually do that on the ground to make it perfect. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put this airplane out of adjustment and we're going to just take a moment to pretend that we don't have linkage stoppers. So imagine here I was making an airplane and I put it together and I didn't bend the Z-Bend exactly where I needed or I didn't set into the servo and it kind of turned on and moved a little bit and I simply just can't get to where I need to to be able to adjust it. We're going to go ahead and talk to our rudder now and we're going to use sub trim as a feature to be able to bring that back to neutral. And to do that, we're simply going to press down on the model button one time we're going to go over to our page right, which is one down below the return, and we're going to press that until we see outputs. Most likely you've already been to the outputs page whenever you've done things like servo reversing. Once we're down on outputs, we're going to use our rolly ball here, and we're going to scroll down to port number four, which is our rudder port. Again, AETR, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. Once we're highlighted channel four, which is the rudder, we're going to press down one time. The very first selection is edit. We're going to press that one more time and this page is probably a page again that you've seen before we're going to scroll down one line to where we see sub trim and from that point we can scroll to the left or to the right to be able to move this to zero let's go ahead and do that right now and there we go looks like 15.4 is what we need once we're happy with that adjustment and our control surface is in neutral or where we want it we can press the scrolly ball one time it goes solid and we can press the return button until we go all the way to the main screen. Now you're going to notice that we still have our even throws and we can still go to our trim button, which is right here. And you can still see that we can go to our trim and we can move that to the left or right in flight, just in case we need a little bit of adjustment while we're flying. Now, if you have to max out your sub trim to the left or to the right, I strongly recommend bringing your sub trim back to zero Go into your servo, removing the servo screw, and then hop in your servo arm one tooth forward or backward. This is basically going to give you the same amount of adjustments, and at that point, you can use sub trim in a much lesser setting and have all that resolution. So in this video, hopefully we covered how to adjust sub trims, why we adjust sub trims, and how to use the pocket transmitter to be able to program it. Thanks for being part of the Flightless family, and we'll see you in the next video.